Hi, in this particular video of Angular 2, we are going to discuss a very important terminology which is very common in any real application development and that is what we call these services. So doesn't matter you are working with Angular or with any other technology, you will use these services whenever it comes about the reusability of code. So even here, when we will be creating the real life application, we will try not to repeat the already written code that is don't repeat yourself. In short, we call it dry. So basically what this service do, it takes a single responsibility means a single task and whenever you want that particular thing should take place, that particular task you want to implement, you should be able to invoke or call that particular service. So that is what we are going to do here. So provides reusability of code. As I said, you will create a single service one time and in whichever component in Angular you want to utilize that particular service, you will be able to do that. So as here in the example, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some data on my service and whenever I want to use that, I can retrieve that particular data from any component. All right, using this service implements single responsibility principle whenever it's about the reusability so we will try to give a single responsibility to that particular service or to particular entity so that if the single thing means only a particular task is need to perform again and again we should not get the additional things all right so that is why we will give a single responsibility to our service and whenever it is required we will call it in order to make the reusability of code. So let's start a very simple example where we are going to create a service in Angular which will return us a data and then we will read that from the components. So let's start the practical implementation now. So as in the previous videos we have discussed how to read the data using the Angular 2 program. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put that data returning in a separate logic called service as that particular data can be used further in multiple components. I will prefer to keep that in a separate file so that I don't have to repeat my concept again and again. So for that, I'm just adding a new file and I will save that with the name employee dot service dot ts all right so here i have the file where i will write the complete logic of returning the data from this service later we can shift that particular data to a separate json file but for now i will give the responsibility of returning the data to this service itself and inside the service I will write all the logic which will return me the data. So as usually what I used to do is we used to import the component. Now since it is service which will be injected in some of the different components. So here I will first of all include this injectable from Angular Core and then I will pass this decorator right here at the top of the class. So this injectable will tell if there is any dependency pro injection for this particular service. For now, this service is not dependent on any. So if you want, you can remove this injectable decorator as well. But to keep it in a practice, I will just keep writing this one. As soon as I will try using some other service or other module inside the service, this injectable will be in action automatically. And I'm doing a very simple thing inside. I have created a method called get employees and it is returning the array of any type. Later, I will make it a strongly typed array as well. So what it is returning? It is returning the same data which we have deal which we were dealing with earlier videos. All right. But here, this particular service is returning me the code. Now I will try to read this data from this service in our component. I'll not have to make any change in my HTML file because it is just displaying the data. But who is providing data to this HTML? This component. So here I will do all the required changes. 
So the first change which I will make here is to include the service. All right. So here, as you can see, the name of my service class is employee service and it is saved in the same location where my component file is saved. So firstly, I am importing that particular file that is employee service. All right. That is in the same location. So I don't have to give the full path. Uh, next is in the component. When this particular component is using any service, I will have to specify that inside a provider. And for that, I will simply write providers where you can pass multiple providers at a time because obviously multiple services can be used by a single component. So it will accept an array and inside the square bracket, I will write the name of my service that is employee service, which I have already imported. And then inside this class, I will start writing the logic. In this particular logic, what I'm going to do is I will create a constructor and from there I will try to call the method of my service that is the get employees. So let's see how can I do that. And here you can see first I declared an employees array. I initialize it with null and inside the constructor what I'm doing is I have taken the private variable of employee service type which I have already included and using that EMP service, that particular private variable, I have invoked the method called get employees, which is defined right there in the service. And when this service will be, this method will be called, it will return all the value to this employee. And in this HTML, I'm already using this employees property. All right. So let's see how it will be looking like. So here it is showing me an error uh, that is, okay, I guess there is some mistake. I saved it with employee.service.ts and I'm using employees. All right. So I just need to rectify this or rather just let me save this one again. Uh, I will save it with employees.service.ts. All right. And now I think there should not be okay. Yeah. So you can see now it is running fine and here you can see the proper data. The output is exactly same as of the previous video because the data is same, the layout is same. The only difference which I have made inside this program is I removed this data returning concept from this component because I wanted it to be centralized, reused by the different components. So I just place that inside this service. So this is how you can start using the service for the single responsibility feature of Angular.